Kia ora everyone, where my head is awesome, I'm Mac. I'm Dan. Today we're doing part two of our cosplay at home series. So if you've got no cash, no room, no fancy tools, and you want to look fantastic, this is for you. Today we're doing masks. And we really like masks because it just takes your cosplay to a whole nother level and then you don't have to be worrying about well, how you're doing with your face and your expressions and this and that, you just look like a cool guy in a mask. But masks can be a right pain in the mask because your face is all... Bad joke, one for me. Your face is all lumpy and bumpy and it's got the breathing holes and you've got to be able to see. And it's got to have no pressure points on us, it just drives you miserable. We found two simple ways of doing masks that are cheap, easy to do and fit quite well. And you can build on them and do anything you like with them. Um, one was, which we're going to be making today, is based around sunglasses. The other style we did was basically just making a sling around your ears and hooking on on front. So for me the style I was looking for was to be sort of wrapped in rags as I was keeping the desert out, you know. So what I did was make up a hammock for my ears, um, allowing room for the bridge of your nose and a hole for your mouth so you can breathe. And now it's just a matter of hooking this on. When it's good to have a big nose and big ears. Yeah, see I knew they'd come in useful at some stage. <laughs> this allows me to keep that rag look without having rags hanging everywhere. Oh, we've got another piece of rag. Yep. So this one is like for a woman in the morning. Yeah, when our handmaiden dresses us, yes. Okay. Exactly like this. I knew it was easy. Put a hat on. Bang. And there's the style. Oh. So you've got the mask happening, you've got the rag thing happening, without rags hanging off you everywhere and being annoying and getting stood on, right? Mm -hmm. So when it came to my mask, my outfit had sort of a bandagey look. So we went with the same sort of style with the thin matting, and then I just covered mine in uh, bandages. So on the front here is a cheap, cheap, cheap aspirator. Open these up, pull all the filtering stuff out to take the weight off them. Cut a hole in the front, so underneath that bandage is a big hole so she can breathe through it. Um, stuck them on. Oh, and we connected tubes to them to make them look a bit flasher. These tubes got a single piece of wire running through them, which allowed us to shape it. And the, ch the wire's not seen, so we could do anything we want with that, and it um, worked really well, eh? It did. Um, it was still a little bit heavy, so I just put a piece of elastic on the back, just stapled it on, just to give me extra support around the back of my head. Sweet. Worked well. Perfect. So we'll build one for me. We're going to do our normal, precise measurement technique, which means hold a bit of this stuff up to her head and see what we need. Well, do we know what we're doing first? Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's okay. drop a band across the um, across the mouth. I just need to know how far down that drops. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see um, so if Please I drop a piece me. down, say about that long, we we'll use our good old glorious blue foam, um, and we wanted a piece wide about that long. I have no idea. I couldn't see. If you're working with face stuff, it's sometimes better to get a bit of um, thinner foam, but it can be more expensive. So, I mean, look, it's whatever you're comfortable with using. Like, we are pretty comfortable not being able to breathe as good all day. You know, it's... We suffer for our art. Okay, so what's going to happen is these are going to drop down on the side. We're going to stick them to the sunglasses because we've got a support. Then we're going to throw a bigger okay. piece across the front of the face. Yep. How big's your face? That's the next question. Uh, bigger than that. It's um, okay, and I should let the cat out. It takes care of the damn cat. Okay, where's your mouth gonna be? Um, we don't care, do we, no. really? So here we are doing our measurement, because we don't want it pushing on Michaela's nose, which it's going to, unless I put a little bend in it. So we put our straight edge down, after we've measured and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look that straight. That measuring that we do all the time. That's straighter, here we go. And we part cut with our super sharp knife, Jeez. So sharp. Much nicer. And that should, I will. Maybe we should cut it just a little bit more with our delicate. Cut, 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 sure. cut. Beautiful. Hmm. So that will still be round, so we need to remove these corners. Um, just slice them off beautifully. Well, now when it folds, it'll allow it to fold over but it would create a sharper edge. What i got to do is glue that. Don't do that, hang on. Oh, we've got to cut grooves in it first. Oh. Like a storm drain. Oh. No, you don't have to be able to do that. Here you are. Look here, don't it. 
Oh, oh you wow. really terrified me just then. Oh my god. Oh, we're both dead. Yeah, fair. Oh, maybe I should do that from that side. Yeah, how's that perfect? It's perfect. The stuff is really soft. Whereas oh. if, you, if you paid the money and got the good stuff, this is pretty easy. Uh, we like a challenge. A challenge, yep. I don't want them to be all exactly the same. <laughs> you might have to cut it on the other side a little bit too. Wow. It's possible. Lippity do. What's wrong with that? That's perfect, right? It's organic. When that gets paint on it, that's going to just look beautiful. If it was, if it was perfect, you take We'd be cosplaying away. Barbie. That's right. Post apocalyptic Barbie. Oh, we could do, I could do an angry Barbie. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Look, no one would think that wasn't cut out of metal, right? Exactly. Just perfect. Right there, and that there, just so I know where it goes when it's off the head. Right, so we're all stuck on. All we've got to do is uh, lighten up a little bit now with um, some googly eyes. Some googly eyes, and then we'll later on we'll see if it fits. <laughs> you look like the front of a train. Oh, I do. I'm a snowplow. Yeah. <laughs> you got some glue for me? Glue oh, me up. I surely have. Right, do you tell want me where you want them. I'll do it. Like there and there and there and there. Hi. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, because it only goes high. Whoa! It's got to be realistic. I told you, it's not my fault. Oh, you're throwing. No, uh, we don't have that. Mama clean that later. Yeah. <laughs> Great primer first, just the same as we did earlier. Suddenly it looks a bit more real, a bit more like a train. A bit more like a train. Are we going to be a train man? Yeah, maybe you're an old conductor. Maybe we live at the train yard. Completely cover it. Flat black. Same colours we used before. Yeah, I think we should wait for it to dry a little. Yeah. What's supposed to could happen? <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit of silver. Maybe a bit more grey. Just lightly, but just take that. The edge off? Yep. Just and a little something to take the edge off. Maybe a bit of rust. Rust me up. Oh, I think a bit more of that. If we go on train guy, that's a good train colour. They have sort of had that brown metal to them, don't they? You got some green. Yeah, so if I want to put a little colour into it, like you know, a pre-painted thing. I think just a light. Well, it depends on what you want. You might see that on the camera, but that gives it gives it just a little bit of different stuff. Pizzazz. Pizzazz. That's exactly what it's called. So I just fixed up a bit of rust colour. So I used that, we used a bit of red, a bit of yellow and a bit of brown um, and just mix that up until we found the colour that we wanted. If you're not sure about how to mix your colours, go online and look at colour palettes and stuff like that. Um, a lot of reds are different, this one's more crimson-y so I did a bit more yellow but mix it up, see how you go. And then it's just trial and error, right? Trial and error, absolutely. And you'll notice Michaela getting the brush wet first. Because um, we, the rust we want to give it more of a wishy-washy look, we don't want to paint exact lines here, we want it to be real sort of flaky you know so more subtle effect more than. subtle effect so, um, so I've got a bit of paint here also what you can do I've got a paper towel here you can just get a bit of that off until you've got like hardly any on there and then just well, I can see where I've spilt that glue earlier in the day but that's yeah. fine don't move while you're doing oi, that oi. <laughs> but that's also the good thing about this thing that we're doing so that's actually that's pretty good but if it's a bit light just add a bit more extra make it real subtle in there um, put a big dollop on and then I can just spray it with my finger because what we're doing right now it's meant to be rough and ready it's meant to be pretty simple stuff you know mm, so you don't want to be painting rust on you put brown there and then smear it away you rust it yeah. um, like rust would naturally happen look at that skills it's getting less and less because there's less rust over here for some reason because you sleep on that side yeah but now I'm going to put a little bit more rust on <laughs> you know your mind changes when you see what you're capable of <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Could you give me a knife? I could. <laughs> Which works really well. And this is going to inhibit my vision, but hey, who cares? So we looked at this and we thought. It sort of sucks. Sucks a little. Now we're just going to add stuff to it and try and fix it and show you how easy that is. First thing we thought we'd do is just um, trim it down the middle. Job. There we go. Now we'll flare it out a little bit and add a few little bits and pieces. 
Right, so just to make these swing out a bit, we're just going to heat up a little bit here. On goes the hair dryer. No, it doesn't. Now it does. <laughs> Not so easy with the mat. Not so easy. So, we can just duck it. Need a third hand, that's all. Well, I am right here, I can help you. <laughs> You're a mess. I'll just heat this up a little. Don't burn your leg hairs off. <laughs> what that does is it just it gives it a flex there so it naturally sticks out. So we're not forcing it against the glue and stuff. Now we get to do the same here. I'm going to need a different leg. You know when it's right because it sort of goes soft. We can always staple it. We haven't used any staples yet. That's true. Bit of duct tape. Yeah. Sweet. We'll just let that cool for a minute. So we're going to put one there, is that right? Mm -hmm. And one, we're about there. Halfway. Halfway. Yeah. Jump, sweet. All right, glue and time. Glue and time. Is it straight? Did you stick it on straight? Did I stick it on straight? Is this Darth Vader? Did we make Darth Vader? What do you oh, think? it looks like he's screaming. <laughs> ah. Too many, too many giggly eyes. Um, did you want some teeth on them? Yes. How are they going yes. Like? Yes. Okay, so you're saying let's glue the crepe out of this stuff? Yeah, because if we try and do dobbles, it's going to be weird. Dobbles? Yes, you heard me. You're going to glue them all together, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> that is going to happen. Right, let's see if the magic works. Will it stay? And one, say, about there. Yep. Okay. I think it looks really good. You're quite cool with that? Yep. Right. Look Painting angry. time. Painting time. Painting time. Time for the magic. We just cover the glasses so we don't have to uh, tape them up again. <laughs> we're not going to bother with the primer now because we've got plenty on it. We'll just oh, it over with black. Well primed. Oh. So where 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 do nails rust from the top? Everywhere. The whole thing. Oh, you want to just coat it? Or just patchy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do that. All right. So I'm using a little bit of water just so it'll. I, I don't want it to be thick on there, I want it to be uh, showing through the natural like texture of the, what do you call these, nails? If you put a truckload of paint on it, it looks like it's been painted. Yeah. Whereas yeah. if it's very thin or the brush has next to nothing in it, it looks far more natural. There we go. Sweet. Good. Now yeah, you can change how it all looks by just changing simple, simple stuff. Well, let's mask, folks. A lot easier than you thought, wasn't it? Next up, weapons. Weapons! Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. Hey, Dad. Hi. <laughs>